In this video, we're going to be discussing the extreme value theorem. If a function f is continuous on a closed interval a to b, then the function has both a minimum and a maximum value on the interval. So let's consider this graph. So this is just a portion of the graph of a function. So this is the closed interval from a to b. So this point is the highest. And this is called the absolute maximum. And this point is the lowest and this is called the absolute minimum. Let's consider another graph. This one. So alin kaya dito sa graph na ito yung absolute maximum natin. So on this graph, this point ito ang pinaka mataas natin. So this is the absolute maximum. At ang points naman na pinakamababa is this. And this is the absolute minimum. So dito, ang tawag dito is the local maximum. And this part is called the local minimum. Let's try to answer our example number one. Find the absolute extrema. So when we say extrema, it pertains to the minimum and the maximum of the function f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 12x plus 5 on the closed interval 1 to 4. So, meron tayong tatlong steps na kailangan i-consider in finding the extrema. In our step number 1, find the critical numbers. So, how are we going to find the critical numbers? So, let's have our given function. f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 12x plus 5. Then, to find the critical numbers or number, kasi pwedeng isang critical number lang yung makuha natin dito sa step 1 or more than 1 sa ibang example. So, to find the critical number, first is we need to find the first derivative of the function. So, we have f prime of x, this is the first derivative, is equal to, so what happens to our first term? So, when we are going to find the derivative of this, Let's multiply the exponent to the numerical coefficient. So we have 2 times 3 is 6. Then we're going to subtract 1 from the exponent. 2 minus 1 is 1. So second term, the derivative of 12x is 12. And the third term, since this is a constant, the derivative of a constant is 0. So this is the first derivative of our given function. And to continue on how to find the critical number, we need to equate the first derivative to 0. Then we're going to solve for x. So this is the value of our first derivative. So we have 6x minus 12 equals 0. Then to find the value of x, let's isolate our variable x. So lipat natin yung negative 12x sa kabila. We have 6x equals 12. And to find the value of x, we need to divide both sides by 6. So we have x is equal to 2. And this is our critical number. For our step number 2, we need to substitute the given intervals 1 to 4 and the critical number to the given function. So magkakaroon tayo dito ng tatlong coordinates. Yung 1, yung 4, tsaka yung sa 2. So, substitute natin sila isa-isa dun sa ating given function. Start tayo dun sa 1. So, if x is equal to 1, we have f of 1. Then, lahat ng x dun sa ating given function, papalitan lang natin ng 1. So, we have 3 times 1 squared minus 12 times 1 plus 5. Then, to simplify this, the answer is negative 4. For our second value, sa substitute naman natin yung 4. So, we have f of 4. So, lahat ng x dun sa given function, papalitan lang natin ng 4. We have 3 times 4 squared minus 12 times 4 plus 5. Then, to simplify this, we are going to have the value of 5. And for the third one, let's take our critical value or critical number. We have f of 2. So, this is equivalent to 3 times 2 squared minus 12 times 2 plus 5. And to simplify this, 
our answer is negative 7. So this is for our step number 2. For our step number 3, we're going to find the absolute extrema, meaning the minimum and the maximum. So let's have our three values dun sa step number 2 natin. So f of 1 is equal to negative 4, f of 4 is equal to 5, and f of 2 is equal to negative 7. Dito sa tatlong ito, yung pinakamataas na value is 5. So this is our absolute maximum. And the lowest value is negative 7. So this is our absolute minimum. So tingnan natin yung graph ng ating function dun sa interval na 1 to 4 tsaka kung saan natin makikita ang absolute maximum at absolute minimum. So let's have our Desmos. So yan, punta lang tayo sa desmos.com. Then click the graphing calculator. So dito sa left side, itatype lang natin yung ating given function, which is f of x. Yan is equal to 3x squared minus 12x plus 5. So here is the graph of our given function. And to find the portion ng graph natin, dun sa given interval, so lagay natin yung interval dito. So type natin ito. So since it is between 1 to 4, we're going to type this 1 then x, then 4. Ayan. So, ito yung ating portion sa closed interval. So, this is from 1, this is 1, 2, 4. Tapos, i-type din natin or i-plot natin yung mga points na na-obtain natin sa step number 2. So, yung tatlong points. So, nandito sila. Yan. So, yung first one is if x is 1, then the value of the function is negative 4. If x is 4, the value of our function is 5. And if x is 2, yun yung critical number natin, the value of the function is negative 7. So, i-plot natin sila isa-isa. So, let's have first our first coordinate. 1, negative 4. Yan. So, here's the point. Next, let's have our second coordinates, which is 4, 5. And so, nandun siya sa pinakamataas kasi that is the absolute maximum of our function. Next is our coordinates 2, negative 7. 2, negative 7. So, nandito yung point niya because this is the absolute minimum. So, kung gusto niyo siyang lagyan ng label, so punta lang kayo doon sa, dito, punta muna kayo dito sa gear sign or sa settings, then click natin ito, label. Ayan. So, here is the graph of our example number 1. So, kung mapapansin nyo, nasa itaas, yung absolute maximum natin, nandito, at yung absolute minimum natin. Okay? Now, let's have our example number 2. So, balik tayo dun sa ating slide. So, find the absolute extrema of the function f of x is equal to 4x cubed minus 39x squared plus 90x plus 2. So, on the closed interval, 1 to 6. So, ulitin lang natin yung steps na ginawa natin dun sa number 1 example natin. The step 1 is, we need to find the critical numbers. So, tingnan natin. This is our given function. So, ulit, 4x cubed minus 39x squared plus 90x plus 2. Then, let's find the first derivative. So, for the first derivative, for the first term, so 3 times 4 is 12, then 3 minus 1 is 2. 
for the second term, 39 times 2 is 78, then 2 minus 1 is 1. Then the derivative of 90x is 90, and the derivative of 2 is 0. So this is the first derivative of our given function. Next is we need to equate the function or the derivative of the function to 0 and solve for x. Meaning to say 12x squared minus 78x plus 90 is equal to 0. And at this point, pwede natin silang paliitin. So since the three terms are divisible by 6, i-divide natin sila doon para mas lumiit. So by dividing all terms by 6, we are going to have 2x squared minus 13x plus 15 equals 0. And to solve for x, we need to factor this. And the factors are 2x minus 3 and x minus 5. Then after having the factors, equate natin each factor sa 0. So we have 2x minus 3 equals 0, then solve for x. This is going to be 3 over 2 or 1.5. Okay, because we need to transpose negative 3 to the other side, magkakaroon tayo dyan ng 2x equals 3. Then we need to divide both sides by 2, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng 3 halves. Then dun sa isa namang factor, we have x minus 5 equals 0. Then lipat lang natin ng negative 5 sa kabila, we have x is equal to 5. So tung dalawang ito yung critical numbers natin. Now let's have our step number 2. So, substitute the given intervals 1 to 6 and the critical numbers to the given function. So, magkakaroon tayo ng apat dito. Yung 1, yung 6, yung 1.5 or yung 3 halves, at saka yung 5. So, umpisahan natin sa 1. So, dun sa given function natin, substitute lang natin yung value ng x which is 1. So, we have 4 times 1 cubed minus 39 times 1 squared plus 90 times 1 plus 2. And if we're going to simplify this, the answer is 57. For our second value, let's substitute x is equal to 6. So we have f of 6, we have 4 times 6 cubed minus 39 times 6 squared plus 90 times 6 plus 2. And if we're going to simplify, the answer is 2. For our third value, substitute natin yung 1.5. So, pwedeng 1.5 or 3 halves. So, kayo ang bahala kahit alin doon sa dalawa. So, let's have the 1.5. So, f of 1.5. So, 4 times 1.5 cubed minus 39 times 1.5 squared plus 90 times 1.5 plus 2. And if we're going to simplify, the answer is 62.5. 75. And for our fourth value, we have x is equal to 5. So we have f of 5. So 4 times 5 cubed minus 39 times 5 squared plus 90 times 5 plus 2. And if you're going to simplify this, the answer is negative 23. Since nakuha na natin tong apat na ito, let's determine alin dito yung extrema. For our step number 3, find the absolute extrema. So let's have yung apat na values. f of 1 is equal to 57. f of 6 is equal to 2. f of 1.5 is equal to 62.75. And f of 5 is equal to negative 23. At dito sa apat na ito, the highest is 62.75. That's why this is the absolute maximum. And the lowest among the four is negative 23. And this is the absolute minimum. And to show the graph of this using the desmos, balik tayo sa ating desmos. And so, i-clear lang natin yung nagawa natin kanina. Yung click natin yon, tapos new blank graph. And so, type natin yung given function natin sa number 2. We have f of x is equal to 4x cubed. Minus 39x squared 
plus 90x plus 2. And so here is the behavior of the graph of our function. Yan, paliitin lang natin para mas makita natin ang buo. Okay. Yan. So let's type our interval. That's from 1 to 6. Okay, so here it is. And so from 1 to 6. So type natin yung apat na points na nakuha natin. The first one is 157. Type natin. So ito yung point na yun. For the second point, we have 6, 2. So, ang 6 to natin ay here. Dulo sa dulo. Next, if x is 1.5, our y is 62.75. So, here, nandito siya sa pinakang tuktok dahil that is our absolute maximum. And for our fourth, point we have 5 ang x natin and negative 23 yung function so nandito siya sa pinakang dulo sa ibaba because this is our absolute minimum so here's the behavior of our graph dun sa closed interval na 1 to 6 and also here is the absolute maximum and the absolute minimum or our extrema so this is the end of this video. If you find this video informative, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless us all.